Making an order is the best way to instantly access high-res images or clips that you want to license. This video will show you how to get a quote, place an order and download high-resolution files for your projects. Before you start, you'll need to have an account on our website and be logged in. You can register for an account by clicking the button here and completing the form. OK, now you're logged in, you can start browsing for images. Let's say you're interested in licensing some hummingbird photos. The first thing you'll want to know is how much your license will cost. To get an instant quote for an image or clip, click on the thumbnail image to access the preview screen. Here you'll see a button called pricing. Clicking this will open our pricing calculator. If you can't see the pricing button, it probably means that you have a fee agreement with us or have arranged to pay by invoice. To get a quote, start by filling out the usage details. I want to use this image for merchandising, specifically for a calendar. You'll see that the calculator adjusts as I make my choices to ensure that I feed in all the key details required to generate a quote. I'll carry on filling in these fields, making sure that I also complete the start date as well. Once I have entered details of the territory, the license fee will appear on the bottom right hand corner of the calculator in my local currency. If you make regular orders from our website for the same end use, for example, if you work for a magazine or newspaper and the rights you need are always the same, then you can use click save to my preferences for future use. The next time you visit our site and need to purchase a license, you can open up the calculator and click apply my preferences to this file, which will automatically populate the form with details you have saved. Remember though, you may still need to edit certain fields, such as the size each image is to be used, and whether it will be used inside or on the front cover. If you only want to license a single image or clip, you can check the Go to Checkout box in the pricing calculator here. This will take you straight to the checkout page of our website. I'm going to leave that box unchecked, as I might want to order additional images. I'll now click Save slash Go to Order. A red box in the right hand corner is warning me that I haven't filled in the project title and end client fields, so I'll just fix that. This time, when I click save, the image will be added to my order with the details and price I've entered. You can access your order at any time via the green bar that appears at the bottom of the screen, or the shopping trolley icon in the top right, which shows the number of images or clips in your basket displayed within the green circle here. Before I finalise my order, I'm going to add some more images. I'll search hummingbirds again. You'll notice that every image has a little shopping cart icon next to it. Simply click this icon to add an image to your order. A pop-up window will appear, giving you the option to continue shopping or proceed straight to the checkout. You can always check the don't display any more checkbox here if you don't want to see this pop up every time you add an image. You can also add images to your order in the image preview page by clicking the little shopping cart icon here or by clicking the green add to order button here. Simple. Great, I've added a few more images to my order and I'm ready to head to the checkout. I'll click the shopping cart icon on the navigation bar to get there. Here I can see all the images I've added and I can edit my order if I wish. If you decide that you would like to remove images from the order, click this little minus icon next to the image, or if you want to remove multiple images, check the tick boxes next to them and then click Remove Selected Files here. You can even clear the whole order if you click the Remove All Files button here. I think I am happy with this order now and ready to proceed. I can see that the first image I've added has a price, but the others don't which means I won't be able to check out yet. All the images I've ordered are being used in the same calendar, so I'll click the copy button next to the image I've already priced up. The calculated price will be copied to all the other images in my order. However, I need to make an adjustment for this image because I'll be using it on the front cover of the calendar. If I click on the pricing button, I can change the placement from inside to front cover. You can see that the price has changed accordingly. 
If I want to use this image for a completely different project, such as a jigsaw puzzle, then I would simply edit the details here in the same way and calculate the correct price. If you can't find the usage you need in the calendar or have any questions about pricing, you can always use the Contact Us link in our navigation bar or the Get a Quote button on the preview page. This button will open a window with the same calculator fields, but it also includes a free text box at the bottom of the form to enter any questions or additional information. Once you've filled everything in, the form will be sent to us via email and we will contact you to discuss the quote. OK, now I've got a price for every image in my order, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page. The total cost of my order is displayed here. You can change the currency if you wish by using the drop down menu here. Our terms and conditions can be accessed at the link here. Make sure to tick this box to show that you agree with them and click next to proceed to payment. If you click the save button instead, your order will be saved for you to return later when you can complete the process at your convenience. I can now see the processing payment pane above the images in my order. Enter your card details here, including country and postcode if requested. Note that if you cancel here, the whole order will be cancelled, not just the payment. Click pay now. After a second, a thank you for your payment page will appear. If you wait a second or two more, you should be taken to a download page for the order you've just completed. If the download page doesn't load automatically, there will be some text on the payment page saying, if your order doesn't automatically load, then please click here. Click where it specifies and you'll be taken to the download page. You may get a pop-up notification saying you have unread notifications. You can read these if you like or click cancel to proceed to the download page. If you do read the notifications or somehow miss the download page, you can get back to it by putting your mouse over your name at the top right corner of the screen to load a drop down menu. From this menu choose my download orders and you will see all your orders for that month that are available to download. On the download page you can access images individually by clicking the download file next to each one or you can download all the images as a single zip file by clicking this button at the top. There is also an option to download low resolution files here. Please note that when ordering and downloading our video clips, the default resolution is 960 pixels along the longest dimension. For full resolution files, please contact us and we will email you a download link. That's all the basics covered, but if you need any further help with pricing, ordering or downloading images, contact our team on sales at naturepl.com or use the website link in the navigation bar. We'd love to hear from you. Take care and thanks for watching.